Hey travelers, welcome back to another video. Today, Kaylee, Darius, Noah, and I are in Minneapolis. Today, The site for the Boom Island used to be an actual island. Like Boom site that we explored in the last video, Boom Island was also used for separating logs that floated down the river. The St. Anthony Falls, located a little further down the river, powered the sour mills in the city. See, you think of good poses, what the heck? Why don't you just pose me? No, it's not weird. I just don't want it like us to do the same poses too. Yeah. A couple of those aren't bad. Her not looking. I don't understand how she knows how to pose perfectly every time. Photographer's eye, of course. Alright, now do the leaning against. Again, like Boomsite, the companies would brand their logs so they wouldn't get mixed up with other limber companies who sent their logs down the river to get cut in Minneapolis. But the brand and the logs also indicated which sawmill they went to. You won't find sawmills in Minneapolis since they were replaced with flour mills in the 1840s. It's crazy seeing how low the Mississippi River is. These stairs bother me! Oh, because of how short they yes. are? Yes! And just like... It's so weird! And then... Uh, I know, right? And then there is the only lighthouse you'll find in Minneapolis and St. Paul. It's kind of cool. Due to the buildup of slits and sawdust, the island was no more. The land was bought in 1982 to become a park. The land was purchased from a construction company for $2.6 million. The Riverfront Development Coordinating Board wanted to re return the land back into an island, but due to costs, the plan fell through. The park was largely completed in 1988. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this location. If you've been here, how's your experience? Would you recommend this location to others? 
And if you haven't been here, would you like to explore this park? Also, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. The park has a marina, boat dock, miniature lighthouse, picnic shelters, and a playground. The park also connects to BF Nelson Park. A cruise line used to dock at Boom Island in 1988 that would tour the upper and lower Mississippi. But that stopped in 2012 when the St. Anthony Lock stopped allowing boats to pass to prevent the spread of the Asian carp going above the falls. If you'd like to know more about our experience from this location and learn what there is to do around the area, plus see how far this location is from the Twin Cities, or check out my socials and see more pictures from this location, check out the description, plus links where I got all my information will be there too. That is the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to see Kaylee's point of view and her pictures and check out her video, the link will be in the description. Whenever it's up, which won't be for a while. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll have her channel link down so you guys can check out her other videos. Um, so with that, thanks guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central. Bye.